Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me for the mid-year update for 2022 for Crush Depth. In this update, we're going to look at the new museum room we've built, a new bunker scene. We're going to discuss how we're remodeling the U-boat itself. We're going to dive into the new cinematic rendering pipeline we're building for Unity. We're going to look at some of the port assets we've created. And then we're going to discuss a little bit about some of the research that we're doing behind the scenes. Our first stop is the new room in our museum for end development items. These items have been built and modeled, but they have yet to be implemented as a functional item inside of the game. One of our team members is very heavily involved in collecting and trading of U-Boat collectible original items in real life. A lot of the models you see here, he has built from the ground up using the real life items as reference. If you've played other U-Boat games, you might notice some differences with our models that you've never seen before, such as a depth meter missing the uh, color codes to indicate when you're getting too deep. Because we're basing all of our models on real life references, you'll notice that we have a lot of those add-ons absent, both add-ons that you've seen in other U-Boat games and even the movie DOS Boot. We're aiming for full accuracy and are attempting to reduce a lot of the opinionated additions as much as possible. For the new museum room, we've also connected the top floor mezzanine with our research room. So you'll be able to walk around and view both the research room and the new and development room from the same mezzanine. For both the demo as well as the full game, we have also added a new dry dock scene. Very similar to the museum, the dry dock scene contains items which are built that will go into the U-boat. However, in addition to those items, we have the full U-boat skeleton that we're rebuilding from the ground up. We're showcasing the process and this bunker, and eventually the bunker will be part of the MMO and can be a launching off point for getting your U-boats underway. One of our biggest focus areas since our last update has been completely rebuilding the outer model of the U-boat. We have spent a lot of time on research, on deck plans, on steel plans, trying to build a well-optimized and incredibly accurate model. Our goal is to completely overhaul the exterior model we have today, deliver the most accurate 3D model you've ever seen of a U-boat inside of a game. In parallel with this effort, we're also rebuilding and optimizing the interior model. This means that we'll get to a point where we have a brand new exterior model and a fully optimized and working interior model. On the visual fidelity side, we've been using all of the lessons learned from our code orchestra and Unreal Engine Venture, and we're building a brand new rendering pipeline from the ground up in the Rust programming language. What you see here is a work in progress prototype, which uses a custom mesh format that is similar to the concept of Nanite in Unreal Engine that allows us to store essentially infinite geometry and complexity in a model and dynamically at runtime stream different levels of detail. Our goal is to essentially forego the HDRP pipeline in Unity and use our own custom abstraction layer that ties in directly to the DirectX 12 APIs so we're able to bring in a lot more fidelity and leverage a lot more features that are not currently exposed in Unity while gaining significant performance improvements as we completely forego the C Sharp C++ interop layer and use Rust to communicate directly with the DirectX 12 APIs. Even though DirectX 12 has been out for seven years and is required in order to be able to leverage the advanced hardware features available in modern graphics cards, the Unity game engine has still not adopted DirectX 12. Under the hood, they run DirectX 11 on DirectX 12, 
essentially barring us from using any of the advanced and modern features that we need to achieve the performance level and visual fidelity that we aim for with Crush Depth. Using our own cinematic rendering pipeline, we will be able to bring modern AAA visual fidelity to the Unity game engine for Crush Depth. As always, we continue to push out bug fixes and constant feature updates. For a full list, please make sure to follow our patch channel in our Discord to see the constant stream of updates that we're pushing out to Crush Depth. Some examples are the ability to now swim with your player, so you're able to get into the water and swim under the U-boat. We're always also trying to add quality of life improvements, such as rebuilding the UZO binocular and periscope UIs to ensure that they can accommodate any resolution. We have built a library of reusable port assets. This will allow us to use vertex snapping and pre-built assets to be able to build ports more quickly. Using historical plans, we should be able to lay out and rebuild these ports using these assets to allow us to scale and provide multiple ports around Europe. Ever since we kicked off the project, we have constantly mentioned that we are aiming for the most authentic and realistic recreation of a U-boat ever. Here you can see how we have been painstakingly rebuilding every single diagram of every single system trying to understand what every switch and every pipe does. The amount of time and effort spent in not only sourcing the research material, but rebuilding everything from the ground up is incredible. There's no way that I could communicate the amount of passion and dedication this takes. As always, if you have further interest in either the subsystems themselves, how research is performed, what the real life procedures were for things such as diving and firing a torpedo, please head over to our Discord and connect with folks like the engineering guy, Stoss, and other leads on the team. Thank you for tuning in to the mid-year 2022 update for Crush Depth and for your support. I'm going to leave you with just a walkthrough of starting the diesels and getting underway in the MMO.